Welcome back. Now, it turns out the cure for bug bites and nettle stings were under your feet all along. Did you not know this? No. Now, but now <laughs> you do. Here with a forage first aid kit is our green witch, and she loves being called a green witch, Phoebe Foran. Good well, morning. it's what That's I what am. It's you're what I am. Witch. <laughs> so you're going to show us, you're going to make up some little lotions for us this morning. We're going to start off with a daisy and aloe vera healing yeah. lotion. Now, mm. would this be like a healing lotion that you have? And for all little things. This is mm. for the heal of. This is for all of the little things that will happen over the summer mm. that aren't going to be catastrophic, but might just yeah. dampen around your day. Bites, bites stings. stings, bruises, grazes. Kids come off the scooter. Mm. All that kind of stuff. So these are for the boo boos, the bites, and all, and the okay. bruises. Okay. How do you so make? So the right. first one that I want to make is the daisy balm. Now you know me. I love daisies. They're known as the poor man's arnica. They can actually help. To okay. Yes. Yeah, so they do for bruises because yeah. like arnica, like you can buy like that cream. Yeah. And it's really expensive, and I don't think it works. A hundred percent. Well, yeah. the daisies are known as I said, the poor man's arnica. Okay. They do the same Show thing. Some yeah. What you so do okay. the what you're going to do is you're going to put your chop your daisies up, give them a little chop, give them a little starter, and pop them into a pestle mortar here mm -hmm. and then into that what I will do is I'll add in some aloe now I have aloe in the, in my garden that I'm growing so but if you don't you can pick up some aloe vera gel from your yeah. local health shop okay. but inside the aloe inside the leaf of it it has all of this gel and you can just peel that gel back with the back of your knife and pop that in with mm. with the daisies it's real stringy and messy so this is a great one to do with the kids and then what you do is you give it a good old mash mash yeah. them up together and what that's going to do is it's going to release all of the medicine that's in those now, daisies that's, into that's the that's lovely to think that but that looks a bit of a mess if oh, you're going to put that on a sting well, or something well let me show you let me show you okay. so yeah. what you do next is you're going to add in just a few drops of lavender oil now lavender oil essential oil is absolutely fantastic for taking the, the itch out of a sting oh, so you right, know right. if you yeah. a spider or a mosquito or whatever mm. it's the itch that is the pain yeah so if you put that in that it's going to take the itch out and mm. what there you we can go. Just what, there like yeah, that, yeah big go mishy mashy but what you're doing is you can you can of course put the daisies themselves onto your skin mm. but if you want to you can just take a bit of the gel and apply the gel okay. on instead of you sticking a whole yeah. blob of this what I would say to tend to do is when I make this this will last in your fridge for about um, three to four weeks oh brilliant yeah. so what you can do is you can make this with the kids have them out the back garden mashing it yeah. all up like that, yeah. mashing it all up and then if you save it in a little jar or a little oh, tub right. in the fridge you have that then for as as the, as the summer goes by you can so put for that all little scrapes the things that you'd go for a savlon cream or something like 100%. that for just going to there this is going to help it from heal from the inside yeah. out take the itch out of it it'll help the bruising to heal as mm. well so daisies have so many jobs and people I know. just don't realize and it's fun to make as well as you said the kids can get involved and then they yeah. and they know where it is it's in the fridge it's like ah, yeah, I'll myself again yourself. go and get go it, and get it yourself. <laughs> now we've nettles here oh, and don't the amount of people oh, do you get want nettle to? stings <laughs> do, you want and we, do you want to be the test no I'm not going <laughs> to sting myself for the sake of you putting a dock leaf on me but uh, yes. is it true that dock leaves when you get a nettle sting because sometimes they can be really sore and they really come out in the lumps every day yeah. So, well, I can remember as a child always being told, if you got stung by a nettle, put a dock yeah. on it. And I can also remember going, it's not, not doing, doing anything. anything. So yeah. what, what happened? So what do you the do thing is, do? the trick is that most of us were missing was that the, 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 the healing part is inside yeah. the leaf. It's, okay. in, it's in there. You so have you to have actually to squeeze it out. Squeeze it, okay. release all the juices out of so, it. What, like, yeah. Give well. it. But uh, here, if you run your nail along the stem, okay. you will actually see all this lovely sap that will come out there at the yeah. end. Okay. That's the bit. That'll, that and, and you'd often find them next to each other they as well. Side it's by side. for a reason. Same with plantain as yeah. well. You will find them all sitting beside each other because mm. they're almost like sister plants. And yeah. so what is the, in the, this then that will actually help with the stem? The, the medicine that's in it. That's the sap. See that part? The sap, yeah. The yeah. Sap, so that's what the is that though? What is it? It's magic medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, which is magic medicine. Uh, magic medicine. <laughs> but uh, if you look at a dock leaf, um, I, mm. I'm, I'm a big believer in that plants will actually give you a little bit of a, a, a hint as to how they want to help you. So dock has so many other mm. great yeah. remedies and re ways to help you. So if you were to even look at a dock leaf, the leaf itself looks quite like um, a lung. Yeah. So dock is actually fantastic for the respiratory system. Oh. And also as they get that little bit more established, mm. you will start to see they get this red vein running down yeah. the stem. Right. So this is a symbol of the circulatory system. This is a dock is a great blood cleanser. But so well. what to eat it and stuff? Or what, you or boil it? What I would tend to do is it's actually not necessarily the leaf. It's this, the leaf is where the hint is mm. for that that kind of a medicine. But the, the medicine for that is hidden in the root. In the root. So I would dig up oh, the root. Oh, the, the root. root. With the root. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
yeah, the selfie of yeah, the selfie of this yeah. guy is appearing everywhere at the moment. It, you might see them popping up in your garden and not have a clue what they are. These are called self heal, and as the name suggests, they help you to heal yourself. Okay, all right, <laughs> now, <in what laughs> very straightforward. Yeah, yeah. Do, well, this one here, he's got heaps and heaps of remedies. Um, actually, the little petals that are on it, um, hmm. if you were to look at them up close, they look like lips and glands. Oh, so yeah. super, super potent for the glands, for coughs, for colds, but also really, really potent for herpes and cold sores. Oh, oh my God, I get cold sores all yeah, the time. Super beneficial. So what but, do you yeah, do with well, it? What though? I'm actually going to show you how, what to do this one for mm. is for prickly heat because we've had that crazy heat yeah. and I think we've got more on the way and I've Hopefully. got so many messages from people going, how do I take care of prickly heat? This plant here tends to come when the sun comes. So what you're going to do is you're going to pop yourself heel that you found in your garden. You can literally just pop them all in into a little bit of muslin in a, in a, in a little dish like that and cover them in boiling water. Like Does that, that bring it out? It's yeah. called self heal. It's called self heal, yeah. It's Aww. absolutely called self heal. And what you'll do is you just allow that to kind of stew for about 10 minutes, yeah. right? Okay. And then after 10 minutes, It'll, it'll have released all of its juices into the water and all of its all of its medicine into the water. And then what you can do, so this is one I prepared earlier with a little okay. string attached to it. As it's wet and released, you can then literally pack that straight onto okay. oh, the from the hot heat water. Is. Yeah, the heat, the self heat, the self heal will be in there, but also. With and the where will you find the self heal? Is it just in, in your garden? I got this in my front garden okay. at seven this morning. Right, it's everywhere seven this morning. Seven. Okay. She was out <laughs> there. <laughs> you were on air. She was in the garden. <laughs> Lovely the, the so good. Do. But this one is also fantastic for the likes of Crohn's disease, IBS, any kind of digestive Okay, well. now you're going mm -hmm. to stay with us and Thanks, always baby. remember to consult your doctor for any serious medical conditions that you may have. Yeah.